If you're having an issue not having enough storage space, disk space on your Toshiba laptop or your Dynabook laptop, and a lot of people don't realize that Dynabook actually bought out the laptop and computer part of Toshiba, so Toshiba no longer makes computers, and that's why you might be getting confused of why they call Toshiba Dynabook now. So I want to show you how to free up uh, storage space. And it, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Just follow my directions and make sure you hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Fortunately, computers today don't hold as much space a lot of times because they have the little small SSD drives. They're quicker, they're faster, they're more efficient. But a lot of times people will only have like 128 gigabytes. or I've even seen as low as 16 gigabytes uh, hard drive space on a laptop. So I want to start with the easiest and just work our way through. But I'm pretty confident I can get this fixed for you. So while you're in Windows, if you're on the home screen of Windows, on the very bottom left, you'll see the little Microsoft icon here. And to the right, with 10, Windows 10 and 11, you can type something. On Windows 7, you might have to click on the little Microsoft logo here to go into search, or just hit the magnifying glass logo here to search. So on Windows 10 and 11, you would type PC. PC short for personal computer. Or on the older computers, Windows 7, uh, Windows 8 you would type in Windows so you type that here and what you're going to do is you're going to examine how much space you have so Windows C that's basically your hard drive space the majority of it and as you can see here I have two terabytes which is a huge hard drive the blue shows what you're you what's being used so far what and the whites what left is what's left so you, you can see here I got plenty of space but now if your hard drive looks like something like this which is my recovery image the blue would most likely be all the way over, so it shows you that you don't have much space. Okay, so let's go ahead and free some up. Uh, what I want you to do is while you're still there on the Windows C, I want you to right-click it and then left-click Properties. And then from there, I want you to go down here where it says Disk Cleanup. Click on Disk Cleanup. That could take anywhere from like 5 to 30 minutes. And what that'll do is it'll clean up all unnecessary space. And that's located under the General tab. Okay. After you do that, I want you to do a run command. It's called prefetch. So to, in order to do that, you're basically going to the little run uh, operation on Windows. And to do that, you just hold down the Window key, which is usually on the bottom left of your keyboard. It looks like a Microsoft Window key, like a, like a window. You hold that down and you hit the letter R to get to run and you type in prefetch you click OK that's gonna bring up a whole bunch of files what I want you to do is delete all these files and don't worry you're not gonna miss them you're not gonna even notice so what you're gonna to do to do that you just click on the very top one you hold down the shift button and use your down arrow key to highlight them all blue and then you just hit your delete key which is on the upper right of your keyboard and then confirm the delete and that will free up some space you might want to do that periodically anyway. Okay, after you do that, I want you to locate your recycling bin on your desktop, right click it and empty it, and then it'll ask you to confirm. So a lot of times people will have a whole bunch of stuff on the recycling bin and they forget about it. So that does take up hard drive space. So delete everything on your recycling bin. Now this one's the best one because it can it can literally remove half of your hard drive. So you want to remove any unnecessary programs and there's probably some on there you don't realize so in order to do that like we did at the beginning on the very bottom left where you could type something you want to type in programs and it's going to bring up add or remove programs you can also find this by going under to con under control panel in your computer as well to just go to programs and open up programs on like windows 7 and windows uh, 8 but on Windows 10 and 11, you do programs, you click on Add or Remove Programs. And then what's going to happen is it's going to bring you to this screen that shows all your programs. I want you to sort by size right here and do the biggest, largest size first. And as you can see here, it's going to bring up the, the biggest stuff first. So right here, the, the, what's taking up the most space is Sims 4. It's a game. It's taken up almost 20 gigabytes of space. Then you go down, Pinnacle, Minecraft has taken up almost a full gig. So what you do is you just click one 
and then you uninstall if you don't not, if you do not want to use it anymore or if you only use it once in a while you might find this new program that you want to download that's not allowing you to more important so you can you can uh, uninstall any of these programs one I want you to look at is Microsoft you might not have Microsoft but what happens is is you will uh, down you know when you purchase the computer it will automatically have Microsoft on there but you don't have it activated and you don't plan on using it so you want to delete something like Microsoft Office Home because you're not using it and you don't own it or uh, that one or an antivirus so like if you have a lot of computers come with uh, McAfee or uh, Norton antivirus those take up a lot of space but you're not using it because you've got another antivirus go ahead and delete that those take up a lot of space as well and then uh, restart your computer and then tell me if you're able to get rid of that disk management error okay after that what I want you to do is defragment your uh, hard drive and so what defragmented is, it's like you've got this lump of information, and what you're doing is you're squeezing it all together. That's called defragmenting, where you're making it more, more efficient and compact. So in order to perform a defragment, an optimized drive, again, under the bottom left of your home screen, type in defragment. Click on defragment and optimized drives, and then it's going to bring you to this screen, and I want you to do both of these. First, do the optimize, uh, optimize, which should take a few minutes. And after you do that, you can click Analyze, and it'll do a different kind of defragmenting. So do, do both of those infor, do, do both of those uh, operations, and then restart, and then see if you can uh, download whatever you need to download. Okay, after you do that, do a Turn On Storage Sense, and this is usually for Windows 10 and 11. So what you're going to do is on the bottom left again, in Search, type in storage sense and it's going to take you to this page right here and then what happens is is it's most likely this is off go ahead and turn on store storage sense and that should give you a couple more operations as well to uh, free up some space okay it's going to take you to this to this place here make sure on here you click on on okay and after you've done that what you can do is get you an external hard drive you can do like a little mini USB to store stuff but an external hard drive is going to be better and it holds a lot more space and get you like a terabyte or two terabytes and hook it up to the USB and drag and, and, and put everything on your external storage that you that you don't want on your desktop but you still have it in case you need it and that's going to free up a lot of a lot of space there alright and then if you've tried all that and that doesn't work it should but if it doesn't you're going to do a full factory restore reset on your computer and it depends on what model you have if it's an Acer, a Dell or an HP and uh, that's going to put it back to factory settings and you pr preferably want to do it to where you don't you're not keeping your files because your files is what's causing the problem and I'll link I'll link on the end of this video I'll link uh, my video that shows how to factory restore any computer 